Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. A bit scruffy today and a bit uh, bedraggled. I've been up since two days ago uh, getting ready for recording the proper comedians tomorrow night down in Southsea at the Gaiety Bar. It's a lovely theatre come bar, come club. It's fantastic. And tomorrow night, all the team will be arriving. There's a few seats left for the first night. For the second night, there's a few more seats. And Jimmy Jones, the great comedian, will be doing uh, a, a second night as well as his first night appearance, despite people saying, how dare you have him on here? We don't do woke on this channel. What we do do is repairs to the building. As you can hear as I'm speaking, there's a man next door with a jackhammer trying to ruin my day. Talking of ruining the day, let's have a little look at football. Now, uh, I, I'm half Scottish and half um, Irish. So I like the England team because I was born here. And of course, all my kids beat me up if I don't support them. Uh, England play Scotland. I'd support Scotland, really. I think that's what you do when you're sort of mixed race. Can I call myself mixed race? I've got freckles and I drink Guinness. So that's probably half Scottish and half Irish. Um, but uh, England's my home and I'd like to see them do well. But I didn't watch yesterday because of that awful bloke who does look like a Qatari himself, the manager. He's a cross between a camel and a sheikh, isn't he? He's got some ooter on him. I think he could actually feed himself a sticky bun. But, but when he decided they would take the knee... And do you know what gets me about that? That these footballers, do they really, why are they kneeling for? They're kneeling for their black mates, is that it? The Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter, a Marxist organization in America, founded after that dreadful murder of that poor man, George Floyd. But what does it stand for, really? They want to defund the police and get rid of capitalism. Do those footballers know? We know footballers are thick, but come on, let's be fair. And of course then FIFA, with the baldy man who once said he was ginger and said he knows what it's like to be bullied by about being gay because he was once ginger <laughs> a long while ago. Maybe he still is ginger, he just shaves that head to make him bald so he... He doesn't, maybe he shaved the ginger hair after he didn't want to be seen to be supporting Holland. Anyway, they all said they're going to wear, uh, Harry Kane is going to wear the armband with one love on it, really. I mean, why? Why do that? It, uh, why? It's, it's going it, to, you know it's going to piss them off. Are we here to play football? Are we here to make a political statement? Everyone wants to use now football. Gary Lineker and all them other idiots. Oh, we just, uh, we want to be here. Football has, has more to do than play football. As if, I, I just can't get my head around the whole lot of it. They're all taking the Queen's shilling. Who's that other bloke that was on there? He's, he's some form of pundit. Gary Neville, is it Gary Neville? Is that him? Yeah, yeah, he's now gobbing off saying, well, you know, Prince Harry, the Prince of Wales, he's a bit two-faced when he said he's not going there, but his father receives two million pounds in a charitable gift from Qatar. Well, the difference is, the difference is Mr. Has-been footballer, or never was, really. The thing is, is that the king has donated that money to charity. And so how can you compare yourself to him? You're taking the Qatari dinar or whatever it is. Why don't you give it to charity? Then you can gob off with impunity. And it all just makes me laugh while they're all sitting there doing their bits and pieces and the BBC love it, don't they? Eh? Closely followed by ITV. If this is what they want, have a look at this picture. That is just bliss for them, isn't it? A BBC microphone with a female, non-white, um, gay-supporting person. Is that what the world has to become? Well, there, there you go. But then I agree with Harry Redknapp. Harry Redknapp says, look, OK, Harry Kane, I agree with the sentiment. There's one love and, and we should all not separate ourselves, etc. You know, you know what he's trying to say. But he's saying it's not going to make any difference at all to them Qataris. So why antagonise them? Why? They've already taken the beer away. What next? Blimsoles and shorts? Yeah, well, I mean, good heavens. Uh, heaven forbid. But Harry says he agrees with uh, Harry Kane. It's Harry Redknapp. And he said, but if you don't like it, don't go. It's very simple. Do not go. I mean, what next at, for the woke BBC? Well, we'll get Shemaya Mabagin, that girl who said she didn't know what she was doing by going out to join in ISIS and having three children and sadly lost them. Has anyone ever printed why she did that, the poor woman, why that happened to her? 
poor girl, she's in enough trouble. And she did confess to seeing heads in buckets and it didn't bother her. But now some lefty human rights KC lawyer is saying she was a child exported. Was she? Fuck. Tell her to stay there. She made her bed. She can now go and lie in it. And talking of going and lying in it. So, Harry Kane, you've got the armband on. And, and if you don't take it off, so FIFA said, be them right or wrong, you're going to be fined and you will suffer the consequences. If you didn't take it off when told to, you get a yellow card for wearing it. If you didn't take it off, you get a red card, which means you'd be banned for two games and wouldn't be paid. So you caved in, didn't you? Take the knee instead and support some uh, uh, Marxist regime based in America that are doing quite well, thank you, by the look of all the mansions. So we'll take the knee just to be awkward, just to be awkward, not knowing what it means, but take the knee so we can say, look at us. We are wonderful, more wonderfuler than you. If you want to be really brave, the England team, have a look at the Iranians, okay? They refused to sing the national anthem. And you know what their punishment could be? Death. Yeah, not a red card, death. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. So England, I hope you do well. But can we play football instead of you BBC and all you commentators of various different colours, sexes, creeds, sexual desires? Just get on with it. Roy Keane sits there looking like the only man with any sense. He's not ticking a box. He's someone that everybody loves. He doesn't profess to be some form of political advisor. He just knows about football and talks about it. You can see how fucking ashamed he looks. All right, let's crack on. Let's go and speak to you, Stream, and we'll talk about I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. See the master of comedy, Jim Davidson, at his unique and hilarious best on stage, celebrating 25 years in show business. With 60 tons of staging equipment, a live band and backing singers, the stars, record-breaking Silver Jubilee is a show like no other. Filmed in front of a sellout crowd at the Edinburgh Playhouse, Jim proves just why he wears the crown as comedy king with a rip-roaring routine that sees him covering subjects as diverse as foreplay, Tony Blair, and the Pope. Watch Jim Davidson's Silver Jubilee now, exclusively on Ustream.com.